and welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Now yesterday I uploaded a video in response to YouTube's hashtag her voice is my voice video. And after I did that something magical happened in the comment section. I was responding to a comment by Leo Wolfish and, and the magical thing happened just before I hit the reply button. Can, can, can you see it? Can, do you see it? You see it right? Oh yeah, <laughs> that's right. You see it right, right there beside of my response. A video entitled "How to Be a Feminist." Hashtag her voice is my voice. Oh my god! And as you all know, I'm I'm all about that education. I am. Okay. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. And you know what? As a matter of fact, I don't believe we did the hashtag her voice is my voice. Hashtag, I don't, I don't believe we did it enough justice, and I think that we need to understand. We need to become feminists to do it properly. So that's what we're going to do. Put up a seat. No, put up a desk and prepare yourself, because today we're going to learn how to be a feminist. Hello, friends and fellow females. Oh, oh, my nigga, I know you just did not assume my gender. Oh, my God. Oh, come on. Maybe she was talking to me. What? 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 No! N no! She's not talking to you. Hey, actually, you know what? Ain't nobody talking to you. What are you even doing here? You're supposed to stay at the end of the videos. How do you keep on popping up in the middle and now you in the beginning? What's up? Oh my god. I just came over to say hello. Why do you have to be such an asshole? It, you... Are, are you trolling me? At the beginning of the video, are you trolling me at the beginning of the video? Stop fucking with me, okay? Just, just go on. Go on with your bad self, go on. That was a tongue twister. My name is Brynn, and today, in honor of International Women's Day tomorrow, I am taking part in YouTube's Her Voice Is My Voice campaign by creating this video telling you how to be a feminist. Alright, so everybody's got their pencil and paper, right? You do? Oh my god, what are you doing? Hurry up and go get it. Pause the fucking video. Get your pencil and paper. That's gonna be potent. Wow, my editing skills are really on point in this video. Not as on point as mine are. That deserves a comment or a like or something, right? Too soon? Okay. Like the zones of a woman that Monica so perfectly laid out for us, this video comes to you in seven steps. Seven. Uh... Everybody who's never seen this or knows what the fuck she's talking about, please raise your hand. Raise your motherfucking hand. I don't want to feel alone. Step number one. Be a woman. Or be a man. Or be both. Or be neither. It really doesn't matter. Oh my gosh, I'm a motherfucking boy. Did you see what she just did? Oh, she is so slick. She She's seen that argument. The gender argument. You know the one. Are there only two genders? Which there are only two. Or is there 150 bazillion Tumblr genders? She's seen it coming and she sidestepped that shit like a champ. I don't care who you are or who you want to be or how you were born. You can still be a feminist. Why? Uh, well, that's kind of the point. Oh boy, that sure does sound inclusive, doesn't it? Uh, it looks like we can all be feminists, everyone. E even you, little Sally. Now, we know you can't comprehend the concept since you're like four years old and your brain's still developing. I mean, we might as well be explaining this shit to a broken dumpster. But hey, we can still sure shit use you to push our message. Ha, <laughs> yay for feminism. But Bryn, it's called feminism. Doesn't that mean it's all about empowering women and hating on men? Shh, pipe down. We'll get to that later. The important thing is, it doesn't matter who you are. You can still believe that men and women deserve equal treatment and fight for that equal treatment. Oh, you see, I get it now, guys. Okay, you can be anyone of any race, of any creed, of any kind, of any walk of life and still believe in fighting for men and women. But we have to call ourselves feminists. We know we can't go egalitarian. We cannot go humanitarian. We can't even drop labels at all. No, we gotta be feminist because because feminist because it's a word. Okay, it's it's just the word we're using. Come on, get, get on board, damn it. Which leads me to step two: believe in equality. I mean, it doesn't get much more simple than that. Feminism, by definition, is the movement towards social, economic, and political equality for women. Then literally, by definition, by your own definition that you have used here, it is a movement for... Can we get a fucking drum roll? For... <laughs> women! Exactly! Oh, oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I? It's all inclusive. It fights for men's rights, too. 
but somehow it's not even in the fucking definition of the words. Yes, where's that political, social, and economic equality for men? Wh where the fuck is that at? Hey, you're supposed to be learning how to be a feminist. Oh shit, look at me over here trying to, you know, reason, logic, critical thinking. No, throw that all out the window. Yes, listen and believe. It doesn't mean equality for some women. It doesn't mean increasing the opportunities of women so we can push men into housework or ironing. I hate ironing. It means equality, like four is equal to four. I have a question. I have a question. Just, just a question. Just, just a question. Okay. So let me ask you this simple question. Now let's assume that four is already equal to four. They are equivalent on every spectrum. What do you suppose would happen if you keep on advocating for adding numbers to one of those fours, my dear? Not five is equal to four, because guess what? That makes no sense. <laughs> You know, it's just a coincidence, but there seems to be a lot of people that say that feminism in the Western world doesn't make a lot of sense either. And back to Other Bryn's last point, a lot of people get hung up on the word feminism and say it's man-hating or whatever, but you know what? It's just a name. Question? Qu question? Question? Just, just, just a small question, if I may. Now, you say feminism is just a word. People get hung up on it, it's just a word. But the people who seem to get hung up on it the most, that cannot let it go, that refuse to let it go, that refuse to adopt any other label with less baggage, are feminists. Would you get mad at a girl named Charity for not being charitable? No, because she didn't pick her name. Y you know what? I, I don't like your analogy. I do not like your analogy. I find it to be both tasteless and boring, so we will be using mine. Now, let's say that I have a dog that I named Duck. Oh, yeah, Duck. Quack, quack, motherfucker. Now, if that dog then did not proceed to quack, you would not be mad at him for being named Duck, now would you? Now would you? And if you are mad at him, you might be a quack yourself. But anyway, you might actually be a bit perturbed if my dog named Duck was indeed a duck. But I insisted that he was a dog named Duck, wouldn't you? Yeah, it would be understandable if you were both confused and frustrated, wouldn't it? So we call it feminism because someone, somewhere, decided to call it that and we had to run with it. We could call it equality, but we're not there yet, are we? That, of course, my dear, depends entirely upon your geographical location upon the globe. And by the sounds of it, you are in America, or at least you're American. In which case, yeah, yeah, we pretty much got it over here. As a matter of fact, women have it better in some cases than men do. Yeah, l let me tell you about them quotas. Yeah, yeah, let me tell you about them paternity rights. L let me tell you about them lawsuits and sentencing and shit. And so help me God if you come back with more age gap. <sighs> Step three, be aware. This is a very broad and important point that I'm not even going to be able to scratch the surface of. I've been pretty lucky in my life and I haven't faced a lot of discrimination for being a woman. But, and here's an important point, so listen closely, just because I don't personally see it doesn't mean it's not happening. But, but then wouldn't it stand to reason that because you don't see it doesn't mean it is happening either? Just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, okay, we're, we're getting back to it, we're here to learn, come on, come, let's, let's get with it. Mind blown. Just because you're not a woman, or you're not black, or gay, or transgender, doesn't mean their problems aren't as real as yours. <sighs> Yes, my dear. Yes. It does not mean that their problems are not as real as mine. But it also doesn't mean that my problems are not as real as theirs. Oh my god! Do we have to keep on playing this game? I don't like it. So just be aware that there's more going on than what's right in front of your face. And make an effort to... Hold on. This is step four. Learn. Oh my god, oh my god, what do, you, what do you think we're here for? Oh my god, guys, it's like she doesn't even know what we're here for. Miss it, miss it, I'll tell you what, you could use a little bit of that awareness. Yeah, don't look what's just in front of your face, look around you, because we are here to learn. Please educate us. Not only is it important to talk about all the issues surrounding feminism, but it's important to know what you're talking about. <laughs> you, you don't say. <laughs> thank you, thank you for telling me this. Sure, you're going to have your own stories and experiences, but you're never going to be aware of every woman's struggles with sexism. But you can try. 
There are so many people from all walks of life that have written and spoken about this topic, and it's important to try and learn from them. If you know of any good books or articles to read or videos to watch, make sure to leave them in the comments. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we got three steps that we need to accomplish to go about our learning, okay? And I want you to do this. Do this, okay? Number one, find you a woman. Find you a woman, okay? Just do it, okay? Number two, listen to her experiences about sexism. And I know what you're gonna say, but motherfucker, just listen and believe. You better listen and believe. And then finally, number three. Uh, shit. No, number three. Uh, Profit, I guess, I did do know. We need all the resources we can get, because let's be honest, we're probably not learning about it in school. Like, oh my god, here I was this whole time thinking that you were a feminist, but psst, girl, you haven't even got your junior studies degree. Oh my god. Step five, be inclusive. There's a little buzzword that's been floating around, and that word is intersectionality. This means that feminism needs to be inclusive, because historically, feminism was just for white women. And sorry, suffragettes, you did great work and all, but that's not really equality. And that right there, youngins, is how the oppression Olympics came about. What for getting more points on your victim card? There ain't no other way to do it. A lot of mainstream feminism that you see is primarily white feminism, which focuses mainly on women with privilege and ignores things like race and gender identity. But it's important and necessary to consider the people who aren't just like you, and to learn from them, and to work to help them. Ignoring race and gender identity, how preposterous, never! Those are so important to basically everything ever! No, 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 okay, seriously, not God, okay. I mean, maybe some little disabled black queer trans lesbian woman can school me on my toxic whiteness. And, and I can help her, oh God, oh God, I did it. Him, shit, I did it again. Uh, Zim. I am Zim! By using my white privilege to get them that job that I can't even get myself because of affirmative action and quotas. I feel like I can't personally speak on intersectionality, so I'm going to leave a really great article about it in the description. Oh my gosh, I, I am so touched by how helpful you are. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, in the spirit of learning. Let us go check out this article that she has provided in her description and just, just absorb it and let it wash over us. <laughs> so bad oh my god you chose to provide us with one link <laughs> and she says to everyday feminism <laughs> why would you do this okay okay i i'm i'm clearly i'm being a bigot <laughs> but, but <laughs> i can't do it no I'm, I'm not gonna do this no fuck that there's there's no way i can do this I can't even pretend. Look, look at what's, look right here. Look, look, look on the fucking page. Healing from toxic whiteness training. <laughs> Click here to learn more. <laughs> okay, okay, I, I had I had to stop recording for a little bit, but God, I can't even look at this. Let's just get back into the video, please. Step six, speak up. Fighting for feminism isn't just about protesting, or talking about abortions on Twitter, or free the nipple. It starts with having real conversations. Probably really uncomfortable ones. Everyone, I'm going to come out and I'm going to say something. I'm going to tell you all something that I believe I have never had to tell anybody before in my entire life. I refuse to have those conversations. I do. I'm sorry. I refuse to have those conversations that require me to abandon my skepticism, to listen and believe and never disagree or question anything that's being said to me. Those make me so incredibly uncomfortable that I am unwilling to have them in the first place. I'm sorry. Challenging all these false norms that have been accepted in our society. Oh! <laughs> oh, you mean that real conversation. Well, why didn't you say so? That's right, everyone. Let us come together and challenge those false norms that have seemingly been accepted in society. Like my wage gap, my patriarchy, or that old glass ceiling. And I'm not gonna lie to you, this is gonna be really freaking hard. But change doesn't happen when we sit in our bedrooms and tweet out a hashtag every couple of months. Uh, guilty. Change happens when we speak up and we talk to each other 
and we create one voice that's louder than we can be individually. And when we present the people with facts and information, when we observe reality and exercise critical thinking, when we... Oh, oh wait, right, feminism, shit, my bad, just carry on. So, tell your sexist uncle that his behavior is inappropriate. You, um, you got you some burger lip, they look, look real good. How dare you objectify me, that's inappropriate! Or make a video, like I'm doing right now, because our voices matter. And finally, step seven, be inspired. Find and connect with other women that are leading this movement. Oh my god, th this is such a good idea. Let us draw some inspiration from the leaders of this movement. Now, who would they be? Ooh, ooh, wait, I got, I got it, guys. What about that women's march movement, okay? That was super duper feminist. Let's look to the leaders of that for some inspiration. Ooh, uh, oops, a te teensy weensy little bit of a problem here, okay? One of the leaders apparently was a kidnapping, torturing, raping murderer, and the other one wants fucking Sharia law. And I don't just mean a celebrity from your favorite TV show. Although they're great, just don't stop there. Look to the people who are dedicating their lives to this movement and be inspired by them. Be inspired by their stories and emanate their strength. Allah, Allah, Allah. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up to let me know. And if there's anything, and I mean anything at all, that you would like to add, please put it in the comments. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know about you, but this feels like it's been a right, proper learning educational experience. <laughs> okay, look. Look, on a serious note here, guys, when I ask you what feminism is fighting for here in the West and you chime out with equality, please come with answers as to which equalities women have yet to attain. Now, do keep in mind that if you do come to me in search of that real conversation, every time you bring up the wage gap, no, I'm going to bring up the earnings gap, which exists due to the choices between men and women. And when you decide to bring up the glass ceiling, I'm going to bring up the disproportionate workplace deaths between men and women. And so help me God, if you bring up the patriarchy, I'm going to bring up the disproportionate sentencing in a court of law, the fact that women have more bodily autonomy when compared to men, the fact that women have more paternity rights and you know what i'm sure that i could go on but i believe you get my point and of course as par for the course i do suggest if you indeed wish to help solve inequality and help women in need aim your sights to the middle east and other countries that need you please for the love of god for their sakes please now as par for the course if you cannot get rid of that feminism if you live breathe and love that feminism if you just have to help all the women's out i implore you i beg you set your sights to the middle east and other countries that do not have laws protecting the equalities of women jesus christ there are women on an alarming scale at an alarming rate that have these horrible things actual oppression done to them go help them please not for my sake not for your sake but for their sake Seriously, seriously, go to the places where there are reports of women being stoned to death in the streets for something like adultery. Go there, that is where you are needed. Okay, 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 I'm, I'm done, I'm, I'm done, I'm done, I'm over being triggered. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching, I do hope that you did enjoy the video. Don't forget to leave a like on your way out, maybe leave a comment before you go, and most importantly, share this and get the word out, okay? I would love for this channel to grow, and the more it grows, the more motivation and morale I will have that can go into making content, and I would appreciate the hell out of anybody who helps in making that happen. Also, a very special thank you to those who do these things, who contribute to the show. I love you, okay? I love you, homie. Well, homie's all right. You're beautiful. You're just so beautiful. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm done. I'm done. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you did enjoy and remember, keep fighting stupidity wherever you may find it. Have a good one. Okay, okay, little missy. How am I full of shit this time? Well, your voice is her voice. <sighs> oh dear, sweet Jesus. Okay, no. 
it is not. Okay, I clearly explained my position already, and... I know, but your voice is her voice. What? 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 What, what the hell are you talking about, woman? Well, your voice is my character, which is a girl. So, technically, your voice is her voice. Yeah, well... You... Motherfucker, did you just break the fourth wall? No, that was you. No, that wasn't me, that was... Which is... <laughs> Somebody help.